Hi, I'm Andrea. Welcome to my Protein Cakery Home Kitchen. This is the second video in my Introduction to Protein Baking series, How to Use Different Types of Protein Powder. Every time I clean out my kitchen, I count how many different kinds of protein powders I have. Today, I stopped counting at 40, and that's not even including sample packets. That's 40 different kinds of protein powder. Maybe it's the same brand, different flavor, but still, 40 is a lot. And when I tell people that, they ask me, how do you use the different kinds of protein powder? So I thought I'd make a quick video to tell you. Let's start with whey protein, since I think it's the most common in the bodybuilding world. Whey protein is great, obviously, for shakes, but also for anything creamy. So for puddings and fudge recipes, for protein ice cream, and definitely for protein cheesecake. It's also great for a quick icing, if you just mix it with a little bit of water and it makes a nice filling for filled protein chocolates. I've also used it in protein truffles and protein bars and it works great for that as well. But not all whey protein powders are the same. There's whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate. And then you'll find blends of the two. And then you'll also find whey protein powder blended with casein powder. So let's talk about those. Whey protein isolate is something I would use pre and post workout because as I understand it, it's most effective at getting your body what it needs at that time. Whey protein concentrate I would use at other times of the day, and also whey protein concentrate is great to bake with. In general, it's gonna bake up better than an isolate would. But whey protein powder is probably the hardest protein powder to bake with, because it's really easy to make a cake or a bread that's very dry and rubbery. So my first piece of advice is to definitely follow the recipe. Now, some whey protein isolates bake up pretty well. I've had success with this Jamie Eason line of whey protein isolate. And this is an all natural product. But I've had a much harder time baking with this clutch protein powder, which is also an all natural whey isolate. Now, clutch is a premium brand and they pride themselves on being super clean with their ingredients. So perhaps that's the reason it's a little bit harder to bake with. I'm still working on a cake recipe with this, so I'll keep you posted on that. But in general, it's easier to bake with whey protein concentrates. Even then though, you wanna make sure you follow the recipe. If you overbake a whey protein cake, it'll get very dry. So you have to really be sure to check your timing and take out the cake or cookies or whatever you're baking as soon as it's done. Also in general, whey protein powder is not a good substitute for other types of protein powder when you're looking at a recipe. Now let's talk about a whey casein blend. Quest makes a really nice whey casein blend and it's great for baking. The casein acts kind of as a dry ingredient, so you could use less coconut flour or oat flour, for example, in your recipe when you have some added casein. So it's a really nice way to get the same texture with a little bit more protein and a little bit less carbs. So I really enjoy baking with the Quest protein powders. Keep in mind though that this multi-purpose unflavored is the only one that is not sweetened with sucralose. So the others have sucralose, so if you're keeping it all natural then just keep that in mind. You could always just use this one and flavor it yourself. And whey casein blend is also great for anything that you want to be thick and creamy, like a thick shake protein ice cream, protein pudding, that kind of thing. Now casein is a slow release protein, and so it's great to have a snack with casein at night. So I've baked a bit with this whey casein blend, but I haven't baked only with casein protein. And that's just a personal choice because my body doesn't react so well to casein. If I have too much of it, I'll have stomach aches. So I don't have too much of it. But casein alone does make a very nice frosting or like a, a protein sludge you might have heard of. Now if you're wondering about milk or egg protein powders, I don't have any experience using those. I probably will at some point in the future and I'll keep you posted on that. And for something like beef protein powder, I'm never going to be using that. The thought of it makes me want to throw up quite honestly. I'm vegetarian and there will be no beef protein powder in the protein cakery kitchen. I can promise you that. But let's talk about vegan protein powders, because they can be really great in baking. For many years, I think the most common vegan protein powder was soy protein powder. But now I think pea protein is getting more popular. And soy is a little bit controversial. Now, 
I'm not a soy hater. I'm not anti-soy. I love a good fried tofu at my favorite Thai restaurant. But I don't use soy protein powder because I don't think my readers want recipes with soy protein powder. So I don't have any experience with that one to share either. But I do have a lot to say about pea and rice protein powders. Pea protein powder bakes up great with egg whites. You can take pea protein powder and egg whites and that'll be a nice basic protein pancake. Maybe put some cinnamon in there too. If you add baking powder, it makes a great cake. Or if you do egg whites with pea protein powder and some psyllium husk, a really nice protein wrap. So pea protein is super useful in baking and cooking. But as a shake, not my favorite because of the flavor. For me, I would have to cover up the flavor of a pea protein shake with fruit or anything, nut butters, anything to cover up the flavor. Not my favorite. However, a lot of people enjoy them, especially if you're looking particularly for a vegan shake. A lot of people are enjoying pea protein and pea protein blend. A couple of popular pea protein blends are Vega. This is Vega Sport. Personally, I don't love the flavor of this. I think maybe it just has a little bit too much stevia for my taste, but it's a very popular one. So if you're looking for a, a vegan protein shake, you might want to try this one. And Warrior Blend. And this one I talk about a lot. I think it bakes up really, really well, and I like the flavor of it. I just got this new pea protein blend from the Vitamin Shop, and I haven't worked much with it yet. I did use it in some cookies, and it worked really, really well. But I'll keep you posted on more recipes with this. And you can also make vegan protein truffles and vegan protein bars using pea protein. It has a very nice texture for that as well. Similar to pea protein in terms of baking and cooking is peanut protein. So this is very similar to powdered peanut butter like PB2. It's just that it's sweetened and it comes in a larger bag. And don't be turned off by the name Lean Body for her. That's just marketing. There's nothing in here that men can't eat. So go for it guys. And actually this peanut protein powder is really delicious as a protein shake as well. Much nicer than a pea protein shake in my opinion. There are about the same amount of carbs and protein in this shake. So for me, I think it's a nice breakfast shake because I look for a balance of protein and carbs in the morning. So I recommend it, give it a try. And rice protein powder. Rice protein powder can be a little bit chalky as a shake but personally, I like the flavor better than pea protein. That's a personal choice. And it can be a little bit grainy in recipes. So if you're going to make a cake or a bread or something fluffy like that, I would say don't use all rice protein. You'd really need to mix it with whey protein or pea protein. And I have some recipes like that on the blog. But rice protein is great in a cookie recipe or in a pie crust because you don't notice at all any of the graininess and you don't get any of the plant taste from pea protein powder. I once gave a recipe, uh, I think it was my banana bread recipe, to my trainer and he ate it and he said, it's good but kind of tastes like green beans. <laughs> so pea protein might have that kind of plant flavor, but rice protein powder really doesn't. So if you can mask the greeniness, like in a cookie or a pie crust, it's really great. And Sun Warrior makes a really nice rice protein powder. It's their classic protein. So compare that to the Warrior Blend. This one is classic protein. That's their rice protein powder. It's really nice. So I think that's all my advice for now about how to use different types of protein powders. I know I didn't go through 40 different kinds with you, but here, take a look. This is my protein powder collection. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. Bye.